Hey guys, Youtube Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be using double corrugated cardboard boxes. Now I'm using double corrugated cardboard boxes because they're much thicker and stronger. And this is also because of the design that I'm going to be working on. And this is the inspiration photo that I'll be using. And it's a requested video. And as you can see, the pattern would need something thin but strong. So that's why I went for double corrugated boxes. The size of the box is perfect for the dimensions that I'll need for my design. I'm going to draw out the shape with this large hula hoop that I got from Walmart. That just kind of bent. So I'm going to bend it again some more so I can get the first curve. And then after that, I'll make the second curve and then carve out the shape. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. This is the shape that I'll be working with. Now I'm going to trace it out on all of the boxes and carve out the shape until I get all the pieces that I need for the project. Now this cutting tool made it so easy for me to cut off the pieces and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I said this in my other video that it is an excellent tool for cutting if you're not doing a lot of cutting because it's going to be shaking a lot which can get really uncomfortable for me anyway and it also makes a lot of noise. I thought about returning it and exchanging it for something else but I decided later to just keep it. I'll be gluing two pieces together with school glue. I'm only gluing two together because it's thick already. Now the thickness that I have is going to be four regular cardboard boxes glued together. So instead of four pieces, I'm using two pieces because it's a double corrugated cardboard. It was after I was done with my project that I realized that I should have glued about three pieces together instead of just two to make it much more stronger. What I made was strong, but I just feel like if I had glued more pieces together, then it would have been way stronger than what it was when I was done with the project. So I'm gonna recommend gluing more than just two pieces of the double corrugated cardboard pieces together. For this design, I'm going to be using 12 pieces on each side. Now I'm going to show you guys how I placed the pieces down to form the pattern. You will notice that with every additional piece, it has been tilted just a bit.
Now I made sure that the top was leveled and then the bottom part met somewhere here. I would have to say that the space here is not supposed to be there. It's my mistake because I made the top leveled. So to avoid having the space down there, you can just go with the flow and keep putting the pieces together and you will still have a balance at the top and at the bottom. I'm gonna join both sides together with tape in the front and with a wooden stick at the back. And I'm also gonna be using a hot glue gun to put all the pieces together at the top and at the bottom, just a dab of glue before I then put a lot of glue in the middle. I did it this way so that I don't lose the pattern. Like I said earlier, because of the way I placed the pieces, it gave me a big gap here. But that's going to be taken care of as I continue with the project. Now the first thing that I did was to fortify the front of the design with wooden boards that I cut into the pattern that I used for the other pieces. This is going to be attached at the front. Because of the gap that I have, this is going to serve as a proper balance for the front. Where the boards meet, I attach them together with screws. I'm going to turn it to the back and cut off the excess. I little join pieces to the shorter cardboard in the middle. And this is what it looks like now. And then I later extended the tips to make it look similar to the photo that I'm working with. Now the rough sides that I have here are going to be covered with diamond wrap. I'm going to do this all round. Now for the top, I just covered a wooden board that I have as a leftover with a contact paper. And then I decided to add some bling to the front with mirror mosaic tiles. Here's what the table looks like now. Now I changed the color to silver because when it was in gold, I didn't really like it. It kind of still looked like it was cardboard. So that was why I changed the color to silver. This design was kind of tricky because you have to open it up in some kind of way before you get a proper balance. If you want a larger tabletop, you're going to have to glue more boxes together. That way you're going to have a much wider curve on the inside that's going to give you a large provision for a wider tabletop. Now the table in the picture looks like it was made out of either metal or wood. Now I used corrugated boxes. It doesn't look exactly the same, but at least it's close to it. I do hope you all enjoyed this video. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.